as a project manager, I need to ensure that I provide the right skills to the customers, right, for the success of the project. So I tried to find out internally within the team that I had, and uh, there also I lacked. Welcome everyone, come and be part of another enthralling episode where we delve into the extraordinary path taken by individuals who have reached significant heights in their careers. I am your host Tulsi and I would like to introduce our guest for today, Vanita Mary, who did the DevOps and Cloud Architect course with us. Hi Vanita, can you please introduce yourself to the audience? Sure, hi Tulsi, thanks for having me in your show. And uh, my name is Vanita Mary Pratipa, and I work uh, in an IT field for almost 20 years. I've started as a Visual Basic developer, and then I moved on to become a Java J2E engineer. And now I'm working in the capacity of Director of Project Management in Capgemini. Thank you for the introduction. So without wasting time, let's get to know more your journey with us. OK? Vanita, I would like to know the reason behind your decision to enroll to this course. Sure. Uh, as you uh, mentioned, I uh, enrolled for a couple of courses in different time frames. I think 2019 and 20, I took the DevOps uh, training uh, course and then I uh, took the uh, uh, cloud certification uh, specifically with the um, uh, Google Cloud platform. So the main reason for uh, me enrolling for these courses are that uh, I uh, foresee some uh, opportunities that were coming my way at work. Uh, there were multiple requests from customer during the uh, 2019 timeframe uh, for DevOps uh, engineers. Uh, there were uh, uh, projects that required us to uh, start a team from the scratch uh, where we need to have DevOps engineers or there were projects where we need to uh, provide DevOps engineers to the uh, customers where they will work from the customer uh, end. So for both these reasons, I found myself uh, not having uh, in-depth knowledge about what it is all about. Uh, just by Googling and knowing uh, what DevOps is all about, that, that is not sufficient to have a meaningful conversation with the customers to un understand what their requirement is all about and to give the right skills. Because as a project manager, I need to ensure that I provide the right skills to the customers right, for the success of the project. So I tried to find out internally within the team that I had, and uh, there also I lacked uh, skills in the uh, DevOps uh, uh, role. So that's the reason I thought, okay, why why not uh, I can uh, join this course and learn more about uh, DevOps. Yes, yes, definitely. Uh, my next question for you, what are the skills you acquired through this course? Sure. Um, so I was uh, uh, introduced to uh, different phases of the DevOps uh, uh, engineering. So uh, what is uh, continuous development is all about, continuous integration is all about, continuous testing, deployment, and configuration management. Uh, I was also introduced to a number of tools that could be used in each of these operations. And uh, the, uh, the course also focused on uh, specific tools that has been widely used across organizations. So I was able to understand uh, what is the widely used tool as well as the alternate tools, which I could directly employ uh, when uh, I work with different customers uh, catering to their specific needs. So these were uh, some of the uh, inputs that I got. Yes, yes, great to know that. Can you describe how you have implemented these skills you gained in your current job role? Yeah, sure. Since I'm in the project management role, I was not directly doing a DevOps engineer role, uh, but rather it helped me in multiple ways. One, I would say in uh, identifying the right engineers. Uh, so I was able to, um, you know, pick the right skills uh, for the right job role. So that is one thing. Another thing is that when I go on a discussion with customer, right, so they come up with some requirements. So it helped me to have meaningful conversation with the customer, ask the relevant questions, what kind of uh, skills they are looking for, what kind of tools they are looking for in each stage of the DevOps de operations. And thirdly, uh, I was able to contribute even uh, during the development phase, right? When I'm part of the uh, team meeting, team discussions, daily stand-up meeting with the team, right? So I was able to relate and ask uh, the right questions to the team so that I can probe the team and uh, help them whenever there, there is a need from their end. So I, I was able to, um, uh, you know, um, uh, put, put the knowledge in use in all these three areas. Great, great. 
in your opinion what are the most commendable aspects of ayurveda i would say the uh, definitely the course content and the course delivery uh, as well um why i would say as i already mentioned the 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 course covered different tools that were uh, part of it and they focused on the specific tools and we also had a lot of hands on training uh, the lab sessions were there it was not just like a recorded session or uh, um, previously uh, you know done set of instructions that was given to us but we were asked to do on uh, live uh, on the session uh so that uh, helped us understand the the difficulties or the environment issues that we will come across when we are working on it right just like any other project initially when we are setting up the there could be multiple issues even uh with the basic things right so we were able to um you know um uh, learn everything from the scratch and also the delivery part when i uh, when i have to talk about that uh, the the trainers were uh, having uh, hands on experience they were from the industry some of the trainers are uh, they are having the real time experience so they whenever we have any questions to them right so they were able to relate and they were able to provide the uh, appropriate solution they were quite helpful so i would say these two aspects are something that i really liked about uh, edureka thank you so much for your feedback uh, being in a senior position as a director how do you effectively allocate your time to acquire new skills and keep yourself updated yeah that's something uh, everybody uh, you know uh, find it difficult to do uh, because of their day to day work or uh, whenever you are put in a project right you are focused on delivering that work alone we are not uh, focused on you know learning something new but i've always been uh, in my career right uh, right from the beginning i used to uh, uh, upskill myself doing some certification when i was a developer i did lot of uh, uh, java certification sql oracle sql certification and then when i slowly moved on to the uh, management role i did pmp and i did a uh, uh, ifpeg certification for function point estimation so i always had that in me to learn new things um so finding time is something that uh, everybody uh, if there is a will there is a way right so i believe in that so uh what i did was i made sure to use the furlough time because uh, one of my primary customer they have uh, furlough period during uh, december during christmas time right from from uh, say 22nd of december till uh, 1st or 2nd of uh, january so during that time uh, basically we will not have any work so i utilize that time to enroll for a course that would help me in the you know prepare me for the coming year so that's how i uh, made use of my time great great that's commendable uh, also i would like to know how you came to know about ayurveda uh, that's primarily again through youtube um because i used to watch a lot of uh, you know uh, Cha uh, youtube uh, sessions from edureka uh, whenever there is uh, any um, you know knowledge that i have to gain in uh, technical side or the management side i used to uh, rather than googling right i go into uh, youtube to search for the topic of interest so uh, that's how i um, got the edureka uh, advertisement in youtube uh, talking about the devops uh, training that is uh, coming up so that's how i got to know and uh, enrolled great great so what was your overall impression of your experience with us uh, i would say it was a very uh, good experience with edureka um uh, certain aspects i would like to highlight is that the uh, timing of the course like even if you are working and uh, uh, you can uh, spend time in this training because the timings are like catered to the working professionals and uh, also the training course materials that has been uh, well curated and uh, it caters to different people who perform different roles in their organization and uh, the other uh, feature is that once you become uh, a member or you take up a course with edureka your login is active throughout the lifetime so even now i can go back and refer to uh, some of the concepts that i've learned or some of the exercises that i want to redo uh, or just have to have a look at it i can uh, definitely go and have a look at it so these are some of the uh, things that i really appreciate uh, with edureka yes yes i'm really glad to know that do you have any additional insights or experience you would like to share regarding your learning journey with edureka 
Yes, I think I can uh, uh, refer to one incident uh, which happened in the uh, cloud architect uh, training. Uh, I think uh, we were uh, supposed to do the hands-on and uh, we were asked to have uh, one account either with GCP or uh, AWS. So uh, most of them were not able to uh, create that account. And uh, in the lab session, we had a uh, lot of queries, but the trainer was quite, um, you know, patient enough to address all those uh, queries. And uh, he gave us an alternate solution as well, how to, uh, you know, go about. And uh, there were uh, options uh, that we could use the existing um, uh, virtual machines, which we could make use of. So that was really helpful. And the other thing is that we also formed a WhatsApp group uh, through which the students in the uh, uh, training, right? We were able to communicate with each other and uh, where, when we have to do the uh, uh, case studies and the assignments, right? Uh, there were a lot of, uh, you know, communication happening within the team and people were quite helpful. As we wrap up, do you have any message or thoughts you'd like to share with your audience? Yes, I would uh, like to encourage uh, everyone who's watching this video to pick at least one skill in a year uh, to uh, learn in depth and hone that skill. And uh, I would say uh, Edureka is one such platform which offers uh, numerous uh, trainings uh, uh, and skills across uh, catering to different um, uh, professionals, which we could uh, pick, uh, learn and uh, uh, be prepared not uh, for the opportunities that come our way, right? So learning uh, just as a DevOps uh, teaches us how to do, uh, you know, continuous integration, continuous testing, continuous, uh, you know, deployment, we should also have uh, learning as a continuous process. That would be my message. Yes, yes. Thank you so much for sharing that. This concludes another enlightening episode and I want to express my appreciation to our guests for generously sharing their wisdom with us. Thank you, Vanita. Thank you so much, Tulsi, for having me. Yes. Also, thank you all for joining us today. Next time, I'll come up with one more inspiring story. Until then, stay motivated. Keep learning with Edureka. Thank you.